define the term vapor pressure that's what i'm actually telling you i'm telling you to define the term vapor pressure that is 3.1 let's take a look at 3.2 so write down the vapor pressure of compound c let's go through the question statement and see what is actually happening so the vapor pressure of different organic compounds are determined at 20 degrees celsius the vapor pressures of compounds a b and c are not shown in the table as you can clearly see that we don't have here and then 3.2 says the vapor pressures of compounds a b and c are given in the random order below okay and then 3.2.1 write down the vapor pressure of compound c so how are we supposed to know which vapor pressures for compound c so on and so on let's go through our table so we have a b c a is pentane b is 2 methyl butane c is 2.2 dimethyl propane so these three organic compounds they have the same molecular formula hence they have the same molecular mass but how do they differ let me show you so compound a is pentane so we have one two three four five i'm not including the uh, the hydrogens because uh, that doesn't really affect where i'm going with this and then compound b is two methyl butane so that is one two three four and then we have a branch there compound c is 2.2 dimethyl propane so that is one two three one two so which one of these vapor pressures can we relate to compound c the highest vapor pressure the answer to 3.2.1 should be 146 kilo pixels that is 3.1 uh, 3.2.1 3.2.2 we are supposed to explain why we are saying that and that is for three marks right so take a look at a b and c how do how do these three compounds differ they differ in the degree of branching right so the first point that i would make is that compound c is more branched it's more branched right compared to a and b i think there's an alternative to saying this uh, which is uh, it is more spherical yeah other yeah that is probably going to be another option that you will find on the memo so compound c is more branch compared to a and b okay so that is the first point what point can we make after that we have said that compound c is more branch compared to a and b what else can we say what is the consequence of being more branch that is the question till it has uh, the more branch a compound is the less surface area it has right that is the second point we can uh, state and then if it has less surface area it has less intermolecular forces right well let me not say less that is not the right way of reading it it is weaker intermolecular forces weaker intermolecular forces compared to b and a right and then weaker intermolecular forces means a lower or low boiling point melting point but higher vapor pressure so the highest vapor pressure between a b and c should be that of compound c because of those reasons uh, that is 3.2.2 so there's different ways you can phrase these points right but your answer should be along those lines right it is more spherical so uh, it is weaker in terminal forces uh, less energy is going to be actually required to overcome the internal forces in compound c as it has a lower boiling point, uh, boiling point, melting point, but higher vapor pressure. 3.3.1, compound D and E are compared. So D is propanoic acid and E is butanol. So already we expect propanoic acid to have uh, the lower vapor pressure, right? Because it has stronger intermolecular forces. But let's hear the stories. Which compound has the lower boiling point? so we are given the vapor pressures as it is the vapor pressure of propanoic acid is 0.32 and that of butanol is 12.2 so which compound has the lower boiling point butanol butanol right the lower the boiling point the higher the vapor pressure the higher the boiling point the lower the vapor pressure that's how it works and then 3.3.2 explain 
fully explain the difference in vapor pressures between compounds D and C. Okay, so obviously uh, we will have to talk about uh, the functional group in these two compounds, the intermolecular forces that you find. So propanoic acid uh, possesses or has hydrogen bonding, right? Two sides of, hydro uh, of hydrogen bonding to be specific, right? Hydrogen bonding. Uh, while butanol, butanol, so it is an aldehyde, has dipole dipole. Yeah, aldehydes have dipole dipole, have dipole dipole forces, right? And then the intermolecular forces in propanoic acid should be uh, stronger than uh, that in butanol, right? Hydrogen bonding is stronger than the pole dipole forces. As a consequence, uh, more energy is required to overcome the intermolecular forces in compound D, which is our propanoic acid. Right, more energy is required to overcome the intermolecular forces in compound D. Uh, and as a consequence, it is going to have a higher um, boiling point melting point but lower vapor pressure right so in 3.3.1 the answer should be e because e has the higher vapor pressure if it has the higher vapor pressure it's going to have the lower boiling point because if a compound has the higher boiling point it has the lower vapor pressure so you can phrase your answer in terms of d you can phrase your answer in terms of e both should be fine Right, in E, you'll be saying, oh, it has a weaker intermolecular forces. And then in D, you'll be saying that it has strong intermolecular forces. Uh, that is question three. I think it was quite doable. Which question do you want me to do next? We can go to question six, if you insist. Or we can go to question seven, more especially the last one. Let me know in the comments. Here we go.